become one of the best known watercolor artists in the world and he has a very unique style. He's joining us in studio today. This is Steve Hanks. Uh, nice to have you here. Uh, Steve and some of these award-winning paintings are famous for their finely tuned detail, emotional subjects. This is a book where you can check out some of his art and uh, the author and the artist. It's kind of nice to be a little bit of both, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's joining that. us in the studio. Welcome. How are you? Great. Really good. Uh, how many books have you put up? This is my second book. Yes. What makes this book different? The first book, we just did a biography and just let the paintings stand on mm. their own. Yeah. This book, I write about them. And, and the, the, the inspiration for the specific mm -hmm. works or how you do it? Or? Both. I mean, the inspiration, is, a lot of it is about what they mean and what they mean to me. Now, I know everybody is going to bring their own meaning to a painting, yeah, sure. but it's nice sometimes to hear what the artist had in mind, even if you take it a different direction. You know, and I think we have some, uh, some of these works just captured, uh, so we're going to run through some of those. Uh, these are watercolors, but in a lot of these cases, it doesn't look like what I uh, you know, think about when I'm talking about watercolor. Right. right. I was an oil different? painter for 15 years, and I got extremely allergic to oils, and I had to go into a, a medium that uh, wasn't affecting me like that. And I didn't want to lose the look I got in, uh, that I was getting an oil painting. So I learned a whole different way of painting and layering transparencies until I got the, the solidity that I was getting in oils. And yet at the same time you end up with a completely different feel than uh, what you would with straight normal, normal oil or watercolor. Right? Yeah, at first I was really worried that I wouldn't be able to get the skin tones that I was getting in oil paintings, but then I found out since skin is transparent and watercolors are transparent, by layering it I got a much even more natural, realistic look to really painting cool. skin. Yeah. Uh, who are the people? We saw all those babies in the, <laughs> in the one shot. We've seen a young lady in, in several of the shots and also on the cover of the book. Who are all these people? Uh, people I meet, I mean, the babies I had, that was my daughter's in there amongst them. So oh, really? Cool. It's really just living your life and, see, and meeting people and reacting to people. If I see somebody anywhere on, on the street that looks like they'd be good in a painting, I'll grab them. <laughs> and say, Doesn't hey, mean you want to be immortalized in art? Exactly. Although I do notice there seems to be a trend with on the cover of the book and on some of those pictures, and then actually we have another one off to the side here, maybe we can get a picture of in, in just a second. Uh, there's one young woman that seems to show up in a lot of these. Who's well, this? if you find a good model, you like to, you want to use them more often, you know. And, and I'm not. I don't pick lots of different people. I usually find one model and work with her over a number of paintings over a number of years. Mm. So this model, on the book cover, the whole book cover is really about the steps you go through in healing. Because I went through a divorce and I started documenting it artistically and emotionally. Mm. And uh, this model ended up becoming part of that series, and I didn't want to quit until we followed all the way through till actually the final piece of the girl jumping on the beach mm -hmm. to find out that I'd finally gotten through it all. Oh, that's, uh, well, and that's what art is supposed to be, right? It's mm -hmm. about emotion, but also in some cases for an artist to, to sort of go through some of their emotions. Yeah, well, you find out that my life is not a lot different than other people's. And if yeah. I'm really honest and pure about what I paint and really paint my feelings and don't worry about how it's going to be taken, usually it fits into everybody else's life. Uh, a lot of the work is very sort of realistic and so you know we're not talking about abstract paintings. Uh, no. Uh, some people like that and some people sort of love, uh, you know turn the nose up at it. Yeah I think of it I mean a lot of people look at it and think oh it's photographic you know realism or yeah. and I think of it as emotional realism how you can take realism a step farther and not just be showing off how well you can paint or how accurate you can draw but how you can make it a powerful emotion expression because that, that one, for example, looked, looked like a photo, almost, yeah. you know, because it was so intense. But sorry, I was... Yeah. But even in that one, it's got the white behind it, yeah. so you can see the looseness. And, it was, and the light, white had a meaning to me, where it was, yeah. I think the painting was called, and, and all I could see was her. Yeah. The idea with the background wasn't important. Yeah. Very cool. How many, how many pieces of art are pictured in this book? A well, wild guess. 170, at least. And how many like of that. do you think you've done over your... More than three oh, decades. Thousands. Of doing this. I, I have no idea. <laughs> Don't keep track. It's an extraordinary amount of work and uh, beautiful stuff. Very well, thank nice. Thank you.